Hey everybody, Seven here. Thank you so much for joining me in our fourth spring. Now, I'm expecting a bit more of a chill at one this season, I think. Now that doesn't mean that there's any less stuff to do, because we have a list. So I'm thinking hunting XP is definitely on a high list. Still don't have level 10 on that. I also want some of the skills that's gonna make the 100 point arrow be a little bit easier. I also need technology. Need farming technology and need building technology, not crafting technology, building. So I'm hoping to get a house, maybe two thrown up. I'd really rather not do any more extraction activities, which the amount of extraction that I've done over the last year or so, I'm shocked that I still need building technology, but I do. Because the stuff that we're looking for is the mine, so we can get a mine in every single location. Still don't have that yet. The goose house, I mean, I, I did kind of say that I was going to play with one of every animal. The geese are just so, they're just so suboptimal. I mean, you get the hen house and they just outshine the geese in everything except for the feathers. But why would you want to harvest feathers off of an animal? That's the eggs that you want. But more importantly, the fold and the cow shed are way down the list. So since it's spring, and there's a good, good chunk of sewing that needs to get done, I'm gonna try to do that manually. Because the farmers, when they're doing it, they'll get me technology, but anything that a worker can do that you can do, you'll get just dramatically higher XP if you do it yourself. Wait, not XP. That's another thing. Don't get the XP and the technology confused. Technology comes from things that you do and from things that Townsfolk do. XP comes exclusively from things that you do. So Townsfolk don't give you XP. So your skills, you know, if you've got a, uh, a vendor stall, you're never gonna get diplomacy XP from that vendor stall. Just like your mines and your lumberjacks will never give you extraction points. They will give you building technology though because it's an extraction activity. So it's important to not get those two confused, but the other thing, as this barn worker over here is threshing whatever into grain and straw and that kind of stuff, that's gonna give me farming technology, but nowhere near the amount that I would get if I was actually doing things myself, like sewing or dropping fertilizer or something like that. All right, so I got a bag. I took all of the flax, all of the oat. And so I actually am completely stealing my farm worker's thunder because now they can't, they can't sew anything at all. Well, too bad, so sad. I want the technology. Now, as long as I actually pay attention to where the lines are and don't mess this up, it'll still allow for my farm worker later on to just auto harvest and continue this on when I don't need the technology. Just have to not lose count of what four wide is, right? Four? I'm pretty sure everything in this is, yeah, four of one, four of two, four of three, yeah, okay. All right, so let me get this done, and I'll see you guys in a sec. What? No, 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 you're, you're not needed to do this. This is not necessary for you to do. Go away. I forgot that there was, <laughs> there was extra oat that is being thrashed in, in the barn right now. So, as they're doing that, they're going to resupply the farm shed, and then she's going to keep coming out here when she gets enough to sew, and <laughs> go, go away, lady. I'm faster than you. All right, killer, everything's sewn up which means I got more technology than if she had done it. We're out of water, not cool, but easy fix. I've got a million buckets in here. Let's go put everything away. And it also occurred to me that I have to pay taxes, you know, it's spring. And I wasn't planning on doing any kind of storyline quest, but you have to pay your taxes with Unigost, and Unigost is also the next person I have to talk to, so. We're gonna unfortunately be required to kick that in a little bit. Also, if I gotta go all the way out there, I've got a step of Alwyn. I might wanna hit that either. I don't really need the dynasty right now, but if I'm gonna be building houses, hopefully this season, maybe I can get a recruit or two. I don't, you know, that's, that's a low priority right now, but we'll see. All right, so 2,200 bucks, we have 1,400. Since I'm apparently not dyslexic today. Uh, we should actually have a good chunk of stuff to sell. Actually, wait a minute, it's spring. All that flaxseed that is put in here, that's gone. Yeah, that's gonna be a ton of cash right there right off the bat. See, the thing is, some of the seeds you need, you know, the oat threshes up into oat grain. That's not just the seed that goes into the ground to get you more oat. 
that's also the grain that's going into making flour, making animal feed, making the breads, making all that kind of stuff. So some of the grains are seeds as well as useful. Black seed, once all of your, f your field is planted, you don't need it anymore. Oh, we are nicely overproducing an animal feed for now. <laughs> Wait till we start getting more animals. All right, take all those. And you know, I could probably stand to lose a few tools. Like, yeah, we're, we're not using nearly that much of them. I mean, with how many of those bronze sickles we still have up here? Oh, good lord, yeah, it'll take them forever to burn through those, so we can, we can dump these two. All right, we should have more than enough to pay the taxes off. Oh, you idiot, you filled up the water buckets, but you didn't actually... Idiot. Okay, water taken care of. What's what's the three before we leave? Because we might be gone for a little bit. Right. Right. Oh, yeah, nobody cares. That's that's fine. That'll fix itself in summer. I mean, we're, we're overproducing on it anyway. The flax being turned into the linen thread as of right now, it's exclusively for just making fishing spears. I am going to want to get into clothing at some point, but I don't even have the ability to sell things yet, so... We don't, we don't need that just yet. One other thing before we get too far into this episode, there is massive construction going on outside. I'm not sure how much it's getting picked up, and I'll have to wait until editing to see just how bad it did get picked up. And then I'll have to try to see if I can cut it out if it did. So, we'll see. Oh, we just flagged for four, so now we're out of wheat and rye. Maybe at some point we'll want to buy, just like we did last season, just buy the actual crop so that it can continue to be threshed. And it's just padding the, the technology points because they'll thresh the grain, then they'll take the grain and make animal feed out of it. Yeah, so it's, it's adding an extra step of them giving me free technology points. All right, let's hit a big sell-off here. We'll hit Unigas, but we'll unfortunately have to kick the story along. But we'll hit Unigas, pay the taxes, also hit Alwyn, and then we'll see what else we're doing today. Hey. Whatever you need, I've got it. I need money. Holy crap, you actually afforded all of that and you still have cash. See you soon. Oh, uh, well, all right, I've got, <laughs> I've got the taxes paid for, but not really a whole lot else for crops. All right, man, let's set this up. Yep, and then, yeah, don't call me son. That part comes later, but yeah, don't come, don't call me son. And yeah, as always, we're just going to skip through because... The previous one, you know, the previous one, I, I really took the time to go through and to show a couple of other alternate options, how you answer different questions and stuff. This one, I'm, I'm really just sort of uh, blasting right through. Oh, right. I also, it dawned on me how to get this thing done. But, okay, you know what, when, when we're done with all this, now, now I can talk. Can I talk now? So I figured out how to get the equipment, and I cannot believe it took me this long to remember. It's the switch to mount. See the little R stick there? Yes, yeah, the switch to mount, and then you just equip it. Bop, bop. <laughs> and you can even see the little graphic change. And it's neat because I'm looking at the donkey, you can see the changes in real time with the fuzzy, blurred out background there. So, hooray, everything's good to go. Ah, <sighs> idiot. All right, so now we hit up Alwyn, whose hopes and dreams we just crushed last season because I'm a monster. I love Alwyn so much. I hate hurting his feelings. Hey. Yeah, just like the day we met. Man, have I helped you or ruined your life? I don't even know. I think Grisella, Gisella, the, the, the ace hunter, I think she sends us on one last thing before, before we lose our best friend forever. It's a, it's one of those, uh, bittersweet endings, but you know, now that it occurs to me, this game does a lot of those really well. There's a lot of, you know, happy to have been here, you know, glad to see it end, but also sad to see it end kind of things. There's a lot of that in this game. Now, it's still giving me 13 years for it. So if I still have that kind of time, I wasn't really, I wasn't planning on kicking a lot of uh, journal type stuff this season. 
was actually planning on being a, a bit of a homebody. There's some buildings I want, there's some people I want. I, I kind of want to take a little bit of a tour and, and maybe reorganize some things because I'm not sure I have enough agriculture houses right yet. I am also catastrophically off course because I'm following the damn marker and not going home. <laughs> oh, and another thing to note that, you know, while I am planning on getting a ton of hunting XP uh, this season because, you know, we still need that level 10, the 150% should go into effect today. How? What did you even trip? What, the stump? <sighs> but yeah, the 150 damage and 150 life should kick in today, so that'll at least make the hunting a little bit more exciting. All right, so I don't, I don't know how confident I am with the number of houses I have in the agricultural district. I've got four. Oh, I didn't need to fill this. I didn't need to fill the buckets in the lake. I could have filled them right there. Whatever. But yeah, there's four right next to the farm shed. Oh, there's not a snowball's chance in hell that I have enough room to fit a fifth one in here, is there? No chance. Not even if it's facing this way, right? Not a chance. Damn. All right. I probably want at least two more that are going to house agricultural people. I was not hoping to sacrifice this land. I was hoping to have this land be extra farm field. And I also think that I kind of wasted a good chunk of the lake frontage over here. Yeah, th this house wasn't... <laughs> this house was supposed to be temporary and not actually a permanent fixture. I I hate the way it's oriented. I hate where its windows and doors are. I Isn't that the one that I put in just because I was like, oh crap, I just... I just started relations with a girlfriend and I want her to live in the town. That is a much later project. I'll fix that at some point, but not definitely not today. But let, let's just see how many houses we can get, because we should have a good chunk of logs, and we should have a pretty crazy amount of stones, too. Why are there obstacles? All right, now this road should be running just dead north-south. Oh, there's no chance in hell you're going to let me put a house there. Not on that crazy hill. Even if I do take the, the crappy foundation. Oh, wow, you're not even telling me that it's... It's too uneven. You're telling me that there's just stuff in the way. Oh, no. Oh, no. What if I face it differently? Oh, this thing might just be... Oh, yeah, this thing is just, it's just not going to work here, is it? Yeah, because we're either going to be too close to the road, and the second we're going to be far enough away from the road, we're going to be right into the next house. Ah, oh, damn. All right, well, let's at least get that thing up and operational. And then maybe get another one around the corner over there for, I don't know, maybe another extraction person or another production. It doesn't really matter what. I haven't really thought about recruitment so much this year. Well, you're not going to believe this. We don't have enough frickin' logs. I've got the structure of the thing up, but right now I'm just uh, finishing up the last couple of planks for the roof. But that's just the one house. So if I want to make multiple houses, uh, you have no idea the soul-crushing pain I'm in right now. <laughs> also, it occurred to me while I was looking through the the tech points there, you know, I wanted to see just how far along I was getting towards the mine. It occurred to me that I actually had access to copper tools, but the thing is, I'm I'm so close to getting smithy level two that I think I'm gonna kind of just bail on copper altogether. And I'll, I'll just wait till the Bronze Age comes along. Which, the, the funny thing is, the Bronze Age is the most annoying one to me. Only because when you're in the Copper Age, you can focus. The only thing you need is copper. You know, you smelt the copper into the bars and you make the stuff. When you're in the Iron Age, all you gotta do is mine the iron, smelt the iron into the bars, make the stuff. But the Bronze Age kind of annoys me a little bit because of the way that the mine works. Just like where... You know, if you're making wooden vials, you get some points. If you're making clay vials, you get even more points. The, it, it kind of carries over with the way that workers do things as well. So you saw when I switched my worker off from the wooden vials to the clay vials that they were making dramatically less per day. That's because it's worth a lot more technology, it's worth a lot more money, blah, blah, blah. The same happens when you have a mine. So if you have the six workers out there just going completely berserk on the copper, they bring in a ton of it. But once you switch to bronze, you have to really manipulate the stuff a little bit because apparently tin 
they just rake that stuff in, which I would thought that tin would be a more advanced material, but I don't know. It seems like the way that it's structured, tin is just easier to get. So you, you need to constantly manipulate your percentages a little bit so your blacksmith isn't just drowning in tin that's useless for anything. Ah, wait, no, it's used in one of the saddlebags or something. There, there's something in the tailor hut that uses tin, so I should take that back. All right, house one is done. All righty, good morning, everybody. This is house number two done. So we now have two vacant houses. We have pretty much no insulation done to anybody's house. I think everybody has rugs, though. Oh, but we don't have everybody with chandeliers yet. Yeah, straw is a little on the low side, but I think I've mostly fixed that. Uh, I could really fix it if I go get some more grains for people to thresh. Yeah, because they're about to start flagging anyway as people start getting up and going to work. Ah, uh, the thing is, I don't really have anything to sell and I don't have a lot of money. Yeah, 162 bucks. If I run out to Denica, that's not going to get me hardly squat. The other money woe is... There's things that I really would like to unlock, specifically in the aesthetics category here. Now, the wooden bench is the best one. It's my favorite. That's 1,500 freaking bucks. I also really love the way that the stone fence works for at least the recreational areas. I think it just looks the best out of all the fences. I'm going with some of the cheaper fences for like the, the animal husbandry area, just because I think it's going to be more fitting. Uh, but when it comes to where the campfires, the benches, the tables, and all that stuff is going to go, I'm going to want the stone fence for that. And I don't even have the technology to unlock the thing, let alone the money. So, yeah, we're still pretty much at where we started the episode where, oh my god, that looks horrific. I am very glad that I had the presence of mind to leave all of the stumps, though. Because, I mean, when I first got here, this was the densest wooded area I've ever seen in the valley. And it's actually going to stay that way once all this stuff comes back and I don't need to lumberjack the hell out of my countryside here. But we're still back at where I started the episode where I need a ton of cash and I need a ton of technology. You know, a thought just occurred to me. Something that I could do that would give me extraction and crafting and give me money and on top of all that, allow me to contradict myself, further cementing in everyone's minds just what an idiot I am. I see this as an absolute win. Uh, hang on, I gotta do some preparations first. Okay, I'm empty, you're empty. Well, I'm as empty as I can be. Now, it kills me to ignore all those flags that are up there, especially since it's mostly farming technology that I'm missing out on. I, I really do need the cash. And I'm giving up on some technology to go get other technology, so that's kind of a push, too. Man, are you kidding me? I deliberately came out here unarmed. Uh, this is the problem with the frickin' mines. As far as I know, all but one of them are guarded. Although, if I've never gotten the five mine or six mine, whatever it is, thing, I'm not sure if I even know where every mine on the map is. But every mine that I've been to has been guarded by bears, except for one. And that one is very, very far away. Oh, crap. I was not planning on getting into a fight out here, man. I don't have an axe. I don't have hardly anything. Well, I mean, helpful, I suppose. Is there even anything that I want? Actually, yes, there is. Now, the thing is, once you have access to the mine, you don't have to worry about this because the building is so close to the spawn location that it'll actually delete the spawn location off the map. Uh, but yeah, for right now, let's uh, take a bear at 150% with wooden spears. All right, you're running off. Oh, there's two of you here too. Oh my. Did I hurt you enough to permanently leave you alone or are you gonna turn and come investigate? Wait, why are you running? What's your problem? No, 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 no. Why are you running? Nobody wants this. Nobody wants this. I don't want it. You don't want it. What the hell? Look, man, just go away. Also, I swear to God, if five of these stick in, I'm going to lose my marbles. Uh... 
Can I have some of those back? Oh my god, we're actually at four right now. Yeah, that's five right there. Also, I'm out. H hang on, I just need another tree or two here. I'll, I'll be right back. You, you stay there. But why is it that every time I have just a simple, easy, oh, I know exactly what to do, there's always like 97 extra steps that I didn't see. I can't just ever do anything the easy way. Are you still here? You are. No, no, don't run up. You waited this whole time. You guys suck, you know that? All right, give me just all of this. I don't even want it, but I need it. Okay, we have happy music. All right, that one just died. No clue where your friend went. Damn it, I deliberately left the bows and the knives and the arrows. All right, so hold on to stuff that I just didn't want to throw on the ground and ditch. So all my spears, uh, the wood, the sticks, blah, blah, blah. Was able to save all that and the meat and the fur. All right, you, you guard the door, Wynona. I'm going in. All right, now I'm mostly here for the copper, but depending on weight and depending on how much is here, because, you know, you, you can clear a mine and just empty it entirely. I will take some of the tin, but low priority to ditch the tin. And also, as badly as I need the rocks for building things back at home, it's also pretty low threshold to dump, dump those two. Now, I have actually had a few playthroughs where, you know, I, either I was out here mining because my townsfolk weren't cutting it, like they weren't bringing in as much as blacksmiths were using, so I had to supplement. And actually, the insane amount of rocks that have been dumping on the ground were helpful in that, so it is kind of nice to have just a bank of, you know, a thousand rocks that you don't really need to do any work for. You just go pick them up off the ground. So I'm going to try to come out of here with every stitch of copper that this place even has. And then whatever it's in I have the weight for, I'll also take that. And I'll see you guys in a bit. We're probably going to have to chop down some trees because I'm burning through these pickaxes like crazy. Man, I forgot how easy it is to get lost down in there. At least until you actually get a mine built up. Because once you get the mine installed... It's not only way more visible because, you know, this torch is all hung all over the place, but some of these are laid out really kind of intricately, and once you put the mine down, you not only get access to the iron, but all these nice little signs pop up on the way that point the way out. And when it's as easy to get lost as it is for me, the signs are helpful. All right, so Wynona's already overweight. Wow. I... No. All right, no, that's not remotely what I meant, but yeah. So I'm gonna scurry around, mostly just make sure that I've got every copper deposit, because I really do not want to leave anything behind. Uh, the tin, like I said, the tin is not really what we're here for, but you know, I'll take as much as I can carry. I'll probably end up deliberately leaving here with both of us, you know, this slightly overweight. You know, I don't need to be bang on the money with either one of us. She's not very fast, and, you know, if we run across a wolf or a bear or something like that, I do want us to be able to get away. All right, I'm fairly confident I've picked this place clean. There should be nothing but salt down here, I think. I mean, it's awfully hard to tell until you, like I said, until you build the mine, and then you can actually see down there. All right, so you're exactly 15 over. That's actually not terrible. And I'm not over at all, so we're going to be walking home with a ton of tin, actually, that we're not really necessarily going to need, but that's fine. Right, so you're 15 over, I'm 15 over. Good. It's also dark as hell, and fall damage is a real thing, so let's just very carefully get home. No wild animal encounters. And even though you're walking at like three and a half miles an hour, please don't throw me into a tree. Good lord. I don't know if that was a deer or a bobcat or what the hell that was. So one of the things in that 200% series that I was doing, and not only did the 200% life and 200% damage affect how I approach bandits and wildlife, but I was struggling far more with the 200% taxes than I expected to. And everybody kept saying, oh, you know, stone knives, stone knives. I was doing mostly the wooden vials and then eventually the clay vials was how I was making up a lot of my tax money there. 
but everybody in the comment section kept saying stone knives. And I know that that's the meta, and I was trying to, you know, kind of avoid that cheese mechanic. But you know what's better than stone knives? Copper knives. The only thing is I'm going to have to see if I have the money to get the unlock, because I'm not sure if I do. It's, it's an unlock that I'd have to admit I don't think I've ever actually paid for. I usually kind of just let that go until either bronze or iron. Oh, just barely. Nice. Alright, so I should have enough here to absolutely bankrupt a town, which is likely going to be Denica. I'll take all of their grains. Not the grains. I mean, you know what I mean. Like, because the grains are the seeds. Yeah. So we'll take all the oh, wheat rye that they have. Actually, let's uh, also check our tech. Eh. I mean, progress. Man, with all the logs that I chopped down, I cannot believe that we are not already there. Yeah, this is just going to be slow going, just because I'm, I'm primarily reliant on the workforce to do this. You know, so when it comes harvest time, when it comes sowing time, I'm going to need to basically race my people to get out there and fertilize and sow and harvest before they can. You know, it's funny, this is usually one of the trees that I blow through first. I've kind of neglected my own farm and let my, my people take care of a lot of it for me. Well, okay. Yeah, it's a start. Wow, we're also looking gorgeous on the food and uh, wood here. If anything, we're, we're probably overkill. Wow, holy crap. Yeah, we've got the raw meat. We've got... Why? Why is that in here? All right, you know what? I've shut them off from making uh, fertilizer out of the rot, so I'm just going to take care of this myself, and then whatever's left over, I'll just throw on the ground somewhere, I guess. I'm not really sure what rotted in there. Hello. Oh, it's a level. Meh. Oh, boy. Oh, but do I want to get the higher XP so I can get these faster? Ooh, carry weight, though. Yeah, if we have a donkey and loaded with the saddlebags and we're going to be we're going to be doing manual mining probably a bit here. Yeah, that's probably going to be the best the best farm skill that I can get for a while. Oh, hey, I did not realize that these were all lumped together. OK, so there's even more motivation to get this damn mine. The lanterns are really the only town decoration lighting source that I use. I know I've got the standing torches that I have over by my crazy 100-point arrow contraption that I'm trying to work with. I hate the way those look. They look so caveman prehistoric. The lanterns really add a more sophisticated lighting source. And as I was wandering around last night building the houses, no, not last night, two nights ago, this place is dark. So, yeah, I really want those lanterns. I want that stone fence. I want the mine. You know, I wonder if I get building technology by throwing limestone on the walls. That'd be an interesting little experiment. All right, well, it's 5 a.m. Uh, probably a little too early to be heading out. Maybe somebody's awake, hopefully. Or maybe I can get lucky and one of the retailers that's out here is actually on guard duty. If I have to wait, I shouldn't have to wait too terribly long. Shut up, pig. The hell was that a wizen? What did I just see? No, it was just a big pig. Okay. All right. Anybody up? No. And not a one of you is on guard duty. All right. Well, 5:30. I mean, I could let the intrusive thoughts win. I certainly don't need the money. Well, there's not even anything here. If you're going for the thieving build, just avoid Denica altogether. Use Denica to sell your stuff. Don't don't actually steal stuff over here. Ooh. Um. I take that back. All right, there is literally no one here. Nice. And of course, storages have nothing ever. Man, I gotta go back and watch Lainey's video because I swear she opened up like a farm shed or something. Well, no, her series was before the farm shed even ever existed. So it wasn't an actual farm shed, it was one of those storage buildings that was out in the field of Gustovia. But she got an iron sickle out of that thing. Or an iron scythe, rather. That's a lot of money, man. 
It was like day two. How is life? Hey. Best goods in the vault. Uh, here, just. Oh, whoops! I forgot to drop off the fertilizer. And just buy as many of those as you have money for. <laughs> have a good day. And the farmer should be away. Hi. How are you? Only the best products here. I'm not interested in your products, my man. Well, actually, no. You, I am interested in your products. Uh, I don't need it. All right, that. That. And that. Wow, that actually was quite a bit of money I just Listen. dropped. Holy... How much did I get out of it? All right, it was, it was a fair amount of crops I just picked up. Wow, what, wheat is more expensive? I didn't know that. Have there been price changes when I wasn't paying attention? I swear, I know that the damn loading screen says, read the patch notes. I don't know, man. There's, there's things that I've been noticing that I don't think were in patch notes. All right, now I don't think we'll need a trip out to Rolnica. Ah, oh, that mine is kicked, so we can't... We can't try to uh, exploit that for more extraction and then subsequently more production. I could try to track down another mine. They're all kind of far away from here now. Also, you're following the icon for the mine not to go to town. What the hell? What did I just... That's a... Um... Is it just the one of you? Oh, the only thing I'm armed with is a frickin' pickaxe. Let me pick your brain for a sec. Oh boy, I'm actually very glad that... Why do you have a stone arrow in your back? Did you get hit by your friend? Are you not actually alone? That was a good chunk of cash. Nope. You were not alone. And that's an archer. Um... How do I want to play this? This looks like a no good answer situation, especially since well no i do know what kind of arrows he's got he's got stone arrows right that so what kind of arrows you're putting at me yeah stone arrows all right so how hard could you possibly hit oh. okay a little bit come here you oh you pulling a knife on me you pulling a knife on me don't forget to block because you can do that okay why do we still have angry music is there more Wait, no, no, I don't. All right, it's, it's a wizen. Another wizen over there. Is, is that what you're counting as angry music right now? Wow, got it. Got a ton of stuff here. And that's not even the stuff that I can rob off of these guys. Oh, a real torch. That's going to come in such handy when, uh, when I do go mining more. Oh, look at this. Oh, that's cool as hell. This one. This is definitely one of the newer ones. I know they added, uh, what, like two updates ago? They added a whole ton of new, you know, random POI type things. Oh, this is cool. I've never seen them with the fish just like sitting out like this. That's so neat. Good God, the amount of cash that I'm walking away from this is just absurd. And the free cheese isn't bad either. Man, look at this. There's three vials of stuff here. That is nuts. Well, why no, no. Sorry I subjected you to that because you definitely took an arrow. Now nah, you're fine. Um, where, where the hell am I? <laughs> okay, I was somehow going in a completely wrong direction. Oh, wait a minute, there's more! So, wait a minute. Your campsite was up there, but your beds were over here? I'm so confused. My god, the money! Oh, free knife, too. Wow, holy crap, they were just downstream for me, too. It's alright, my people. I've saved us from bandits. All right, we're, we're flagging like crazy here. Now, now what are we out of? Uh, okay, everything and everything. Ooh, I don't like seeing that. Okay. I mean, it's not a problem because we have an abundance of fertilizer. 
and yeah, that. All right, let's uh, dump off and see how many of these flags we can get taken care of. Oh, yeah, we have an absolutely gargantuan amount of fertilizer, and we're not even using it right now. You know, the, the, the field's completely sown, plowed, everything's just ready and growing. Okay, down to two. I, I like that number a lot better. Man, I also made out of there with a, a crap ton of food that I just don't really need. Uh, I, I guess I'll keep the cheese on me. It, it's really filling. It doesn't take up a whole ton of weight. You know, so that could be really helpful for when I forget to feed myself. Uh, I, I don't want the onions. The people cannot eat the onions, I guess. Realistically, it'll probably turn into rot. All right, now as I'm trying to think of what to do with day three, the thing is time is such a critically valuable resource in this game. Every season has things to do that require being done in that season. You know, a lot of the agriculture stuff, things like the taxes have to be paid in the spring. So I, I hate to waste time for myself. But the thing is, I kind of want to take advantage of the daylight that's here so I can try to get a couple of shots at this thing. Now, I had put those torches in place to try to help illuminate and maybe make it an easier shot at night. You know, I was thinking like, oh, if I can't do this at night, I don't want to hunt at night. You know, shop keeps are closed at night. So I'm thinking maybe I can take advantage of the night to get some target practice put in. Wow, it's so far away, I can barely even see it. But the thing is, those torches do pretty much just nothing. It's actually so far away that it's, I think it's actually beyond the draw distance. Now, I might be able to do something with my graphic settings to, you know, increase the draw distance to make that lit up. But, oh my god, this is so far away. So I don't know, maybe I'll take a couple shots at this, see what kind of a score I can get, if I can even hit the damn thing. And then, I don't know, maybe I'll experiment with if the insulation does actually give you the technology that I was looking for. Are you kidding me? I just took a frickin' pot shot at that. Are you absolutely frickin' kidding me? Why not? Did you see that? Did you see that shot? Man, I hope you saw that shot because I didn't even see that shot. Okay, now what are we doing with day three? Huh. Oh, I gotta get a look at this. Well, apparently daylight did help. <laughs> oh, look at that. Man, I gotta go back into the replay and see what the distance and what my actual pointage was. I think it's like, what, 104, 109? I, I, I was so stunned, I couldn't even look at it. Okay. We're knocking him down, Winona. Oh, so what's what's left then? Level 10 hunting and all the mines? Holy crap, is that seriously all I've got left? You know what? The lovely wife is really overproducing. You know, she's overproducing on logs, and I forgot that I still had her set to making planks. We don't even need planks. It, nothing here uses planks. The, uh, the workshop is the only thing that could potentially use them at all, you know, for buckets or wooden vials or something like that. She's not set to do anything with them, so the blanks are just literally collecting dust. Let's go build. All right, all right, so we got a good chunk there. Wow, we actually have quite a few. All right, let's, uh, let's see if we can get this fence at least put up, because that, that's really annoying the hell out of me that I'm having these, these stupid little sticks lying around just outlying my future plans. Oh my god, there's a wife quest and I totally forgot to do it. Hang, hang on, hang on, hang on. Oh my god, how did I forget to do this? How is life treating you? Oh, thanks. Uh, oh god. What if this is a two-day thing? What if I can't? I'm rolling the dice. Oh. Uh-oh. Uh-oh, okay. What if this is a two-day event? Also, my god, where did you order the wine from? 1,400 meters away, who, would you import this shit? Oh, she also gave me something to drink. Oh, crap, I, I took so much stuff out of my inventory to go mining. I even took my damn water skins out. Like, I, I stripped bare bones down to nothing. Oh, god, what have I done? All right, everything's fine, nothing is effed. I'll, I'll, I'll figure a way out of this. 
I usually, mostly, a lot of the time do. N not always. A lot of the time. Wait, where the hell are we going? Gustovia? Mm, yeah, probably the closest one. Well, actually, Hortica may have been a closer bar. Hell, Jazerica may have been closer than Gustovia. I don't know. Holy crap, I cannot believe I hit a 100 point arrow. You absolute effing moron. Oh, thank God she did order it from Gustovia. Holy crap, I got all the way out here and realized I was following Samber. Okay, okay. Just don't make any more stupid mistakes. Also, holy crap, that's super cool. Oh my God, you're you're on an insane time crunch and you're over here picking up freaking flags. I mean, the, the sickles were very cool, but... <laughs> move, you idiot, move. You're on a donkey, you don't have time. Oh man, and I also, I, I may have screwed myself anyway because I really think this might be a two day quest. Oh, you absolute idiot. Wife quests are never as easy as, hey, go pick up this thing, and then, congratulations. There's always extra steps. Oh no, just please, please let me get this done in a day. Um, was not expecting it to come from a cook, was expecting it to come from the bartender. Yeah, she has dreamy eyes. <laughs> Alright, just haul ass home. I know she's gonna have something else for me to do. I don't remember what. Oh, just please let me get it done today. Oh no! Worst husband ever. As if me coming home absolutely on death's doorstep completely covered in blood for two seasons in a row wasn't enough. But the town sure is pretty. Oh man, this place is gonna... Damn it, Winona. You need to look where we're going when I'm not. You know how I get distracted with just how gorgeous our valley is. Oh my god, and all I was gonna do was build a fence. I'm so, so glad I bumped into her and... Oh, jeez. Hey! Come on. Veronica. Oh, oh, I know this. Oh, I know this. And it's a, um, it's another super townsfolk. Oh, I know, no, we gotta make moves. Oh my God, the sun's getting low already. And what'd you say, Veronica? Oh shit, there really is no, <laughs> there is no fast way to get there. Um, all right, well, you're gonna be faster than walking, so we are still going to want to take the bridge. Shut up, pig. Absolutely no time. Get out of here. Oh, you just took a chunk out of Winona. Oh, if I had the time. Oh, there's a cart. No, 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 no. Maybe we can get the cart on the way back. Uh, the crappy thing is, I think this might be the diplomacy. No, 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 no. I know who the diplomacy to, uh, super townsfolk is. That guy's in Rolnica. That's a guy. Uh, what does this lady do? Oh my god, with the... No. We'll get it on the way back if I see it and if I remember. Uh, that's a leftover from last season, so there's nothing there. So this lady, I remember her story, but not her skill set. Uh, she bought a deed off of, you know, some shyster. And the, the deed that she bought the land for was supposed to be in borrow or something. Which, that's not how the land here works. You just, you know... The Castellan somehow just grants you land. So the land is free. You explain to her that the land is free uh, as long as it hasn't been claimed by anybody, which, you know, the land that she's up here for has been claimed by Borrow. And then she's like, oh, how embarrassing, blah, 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 and let me come with you. What does she do? She's not production. That's uh, Tesla's kid. You, you run into, like, Nic N Nicola Tesla's daughter or something. What are you, hunting, maybe? Hi. How can I source this out? Right, yeah, and, uh, this land is not yours, the deal, yeah, terrible, sorry, and you got duped. That's not how it works here. Join my settlement. Hey, guess what? I already have a house for you. <laughs> oh my god, I built... I know it. Remember when I built houses and I was like, hey, we're not recruiting this season? Oh, you're a farmer. Um, we're gonna 
we're gonna move some animal handling around then. Uh, yeah, actually, <laughs> and we made an extra farm house thing. Okay, fantastic. Uh, we're gonna put you here. Yeah, because the one that's already there. Okay, you're three. Super cool. Great. But I want those eggs moving in much faster than that. So that means you're unemployed. Never mind, a level four is doing the pigs. So you're not going there either. Barn's all full up, so I guess you're just going to go here. That works out great. Hey, guess what, Winona? It's 6.30 at night. Um, let's, uh, see if I can remember where any of those locations were. Oh god, we still have to turn it in. We gotta go home. Winona, run. If I find the spots, and if I can... Bigs and Wizens, and the Wizens are fast. Okay, if I actually come across those locations again, which the one is right by the bridge, so it's not, you can't miss it. The other one was kind of in the middle of the woods. I might not grab that one, we'll see. But if I have time, I'll snag him. Oh my god. Move. All right, Winona, rolling stop. All right, what's here, anything? Wool, cool. She, uh, okay, she was cool. A couple apples. Those are for you, Winona. Let's go. Now, I didn't take any roads to get down here. I went just straight beeline right for the bridge. So I kind of cut off uh, Denica altogether. So if I'm following the marker, it should lead me in a very similar trajectory, and I should come across that turned over cart again. What time is it? It's 7.30. Oh, this is gonna be, this is gonna be tight. This is gonna be way crazy tight. Oh, shut up, wolves. No time. Get off me. Now, the thing is, even if I miss this cart thing, I can always spend, uh, you know, the first day of the summer trying to look around for it. Most of the locations will stay for a season or two, so. And it is kind of looking like I might miss it. That's fine. Uh, nothing is more important to me than what time of day it is right now. Why no, no, we're being chased by pigs, and my wife's about to go to bed. Okay, 8 o'clock. We might actually have enough time to get a little bit of fence work in, too. <laughs> my beloved. Hi. Yep, lady thought she had a thing. Invited her in. Okay. Now, if I had bothered to have the presence of mind to do that earlier, you can see you have quite the extensive stamina buff, which probably would have helped with a lot of my things that I was doing throughout the day. Or throughout the whole season. Oh, man. That... That was closer than I should have let it get. <laughs> oh, who am I kidding? I just wouldn't be me if I didn't wait till the absolute 11th hour completely forget some critical linchpin necessity or detail and then somehow survive and actually get everything done. I really do hope that these are tall enough to keep the cows and the pigs in. I mean, I would imagine so. I think the only reason that the pigs are wandering around is because it's not done yet. Well, ran out one plank shy. That's fine. Whatever. Well, all in all, that was uh, a more productive and more exciting season than I was actually expecting. I thought we were just going to do some farming and do some building and stuff, but... Yeah, no, no, let's uh, fight some bears with some wooden spears, you know. Forget a uh, super pivotal wife quest that got us a super townsfolk. Yeah, I completely forget that until the absolute last possible hour. But did have a house for her. Oh man, we really got to do... Oh, the insulation experiment, right. Yeah, I definitely want to check out to see if insulation will get me the technology. Because if it does, we do have a good chunk of limestone lying around. Eh, I should also just put it up just for the happiness anyway. Oh, speaking of happiness, we have some unlocks we got to take care of too. Yeah. Definitely want to get this. Definitely want to get this. Want to throw some lights around some people's houses. Want to throw some lights around the town, but that's going to need technology. 
We have a lot to do this summer. Uh, but it was an alright spring. But anyway, thank you guys so much for joining me in this spring, and I hope to see you in the summer. This is Seven. Good night, guys.